Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to unbox for you that apparently USPS started unboxing for me. This is from Seth over at We Slash Civivi, and it's from it's for the Apex Pass Around Group. I signed up for a knife, and I think two knives shipped in the package, and I was the first one, so it came directly from Seth. So let's see what's in here. Um, big shout out to Seth over at We Slash Civivi, and David over at Blade Banter, who runs the Apex Group. It means a lot that you guys send knives out for us to check out so we don't have to dish out our own money and it means a lot that david spends his time for free organizing this group i don't think people realize that he does it for free guys so imagine the time you put into your channel and stuff add that plus this group you know it's just it's a lot of work so i'm glad um i'm glad that he does it though okay that's all i'm saying so uh yeah you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Wii slash Sabibi, but I give them credit when uh, they make a good knife, like the Sabibi Altus I recently reviewed, um, like the Wii Roxy 3 that I love. I actually, ironically enough, have that in pocket today. Um, this is one of the best knives. I think it is the best knife they've ever made. Um, Todd Knife and Tool killed it with this um which is sad because i think i heard that they are exclusive to best tech now or something i don't know maybe i misheard that um but look at this flame anno whatever on the titanium the gold accents or bronze accents i do wish they had done a different finish on the blade but it does go pretty well the action on skiffs on this one is fantastic d10 is on point man it's just such a good knife so anyway i love my roxy 3 uh let's start with the civivi i actually think this is one i already reviewed yes it is so this is the cogent uh oh look at that really informative um real quick let's just see which version it is because if it's one i haven't handled might be nice to ah it's the exact one i reviewed guys so, um, I'll just feel the D10 out and see if there's any variants from the one I had, uh, and then we can move on. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a sticker for the Elementum. So let's see. Yep. Same D10. Um, which I will say is a little bit of play, but not much. A little bit of rock, but not much. Pretty normal, uh, button lock stuff. Dead centered. Um... You can fail this one, unlike the Altus, but it is very snappy. It breaks and it fires. Like, so it's hard to explain. Like, yes, you can fail it, but that's not like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to fail it. Um, so I did, I did like this knife, but uh, the Ergos just really sucked for me because of this whole thing right here. And I've been over this. It just kind of like shoves me into this grip and i honestly had a more comfortable grip on the altus which is a three inch knife versus the cogent which is a three and a half inch knife which is weird but true um so anyway that's the cogent that's going around the pass around so that's why i got that one even though i've already reviewed one uh the other knife is the one that i'm really interested in and that is the arsenal and I believe this is an Elishowitz design. Let's take a quick gander. You guys can pause and read here. Um, there's MSRP, MAP. MAP is the one that you want. That's what you're going to pay, 267 uh, Does it say who the designer is? Do they know? Oh, it's Ostop Pell. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was Elishowitz. Maybe I'm thinking of the... Um, What's the other one? They're all named after, like, gun stuff. Just kind of dumb, in my opinion. But, man, you can't think of names. Like, you know what I mean? Names are hard. I think they have one that just came out called the the gun stock or the rapid fire or the pump shotgun or something. I don't know. Um, it's something like that. But, anyway, this is the Arsenal. And the reason I wanted to check this out, is, there's a couple reasons. One, I believe it has a reversible clip. Uh, which, uh, you need some kind of nut. 
Ah, uh, you need some kind. You need like a wrench to get that off. Um, guessing anyway. Can I use? It doesn't shit with anything. I'm sure. Trying to be careful because I don't want to mar anything up or I'll be buying this sucker. I got it though. I just need to. Yeah, I always think with these type of clips, they really need to ship it with a um, tool because you're going to mar it up. It's just, I know there's probably an easier way for me to go about it, but honestly, I'm not going to go hunting down a bunch of tools. I'm going to try to grab the one I have, right? There we go. I do like that it comes that way or that it comes obviously, uh, reversible. That was a dumb statement. I don't mean I like that it comes, um, right-handed that's just common sense anyway but the fact that i can reverse the clip on a 270 dollar knife is really nice because it's it's kind of rare guys uh you just don't see it a lot so when you do get that chance it's nice uh, i'm trying to be careful because yeah Sorry, I know this isn't this is dumb, but I think we're good. I kind of want to turn it a little more to make it like flush with something. A little more. whatever okay so sorry about that so this is the arsenal with the lefty clip on it and um it's one i was interested in because it looked like you could possibly flick it um uh, with the fuller but there is that um frame lock right here so it is kind of a bolster lock but they don't give you probably enough of the bolster lock to use it the way i want to use it but uh i like the flipper tab it looks cool it's not the normal wii civivi flipper tab the detent right off the bat felt a little light yeah um so that's definitely not a big positive for me but does mean you can get a good reverse flick out there um action is pretty much standard wii guys it's they have their own sort of action. A little bit of play, but I'm wrenching on it. Crazy blade shape, right? This thing in person looks way better than in pictures. I thought it was fugly. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, it's actually kind of nice. This clip looks like it's going to be annoying, though. Um, in hand. It feels it's so weird to explain. Because of, I guess, all the milling and the way the backspacer is designed... Wow, it's really weird looking. It feels kind of plasticky, like a toy. Feels like I can bend it a little bit, flex it. You see how it's designed? Like, how is that? I think this inlay, so to speak, is actually the backspacer and the inlay. So there's no backspacer, so to speak. Like, there's no titanium backspacer in here. Very interesting construction. I'm sure I'm not allowed to take it apart. So, um, you see that? It's just that G10 in there. So, that's why when I... I don't know. You can kind of feel that in hand. It's hard to explain. It's not necessarily, like, going to be a structural issue or... It's not anything like that. I'm not trying to say it's a negative. It just... I don't know. It just has that feel. It's, it's hard to explain. kind of feels like a toy a little bit. Uh, I know that all sounds negative, but that's not how I mean it. Um, let's see if I can flick it right-handed. 
So yeah, they they um they give you the slot sort of, but they didn't like I don't I, it's kind of a wonder to me why they didn't just make it a little bit taller and give you full access to the slot cuz you know people would love to have the the ability to easily flick it. And it's not like it's super hard, but it takes some maneuvering to get in there and get it, right? Uh O stop hell design. There you go. Um Pretty sure it's in 20 CB. Here we go. Let's see. Why is it not? There you go. 20 CB. I don't know why it's all grainy. Sorry. Um, yeah, this one's interesting to me. D10 is definitely on the lighter side. So it's almost like... Alright, so it's either like classic Wii where they just have variants in their detents. Like, somebody else probably has one of these and it's super snappy, right? Uh, or they almost dialed it for the reverse flick, even though they didn't give you the best access to the slot. You know what I mean? If it was dialed that way on purpose for the flick, I get it. But it also doesn't make sense because you don't have the best access to that slot. Ergos. And that clip is not biting me at all, so I guess it's thin enough and, and kind of uh, slim enough, like I can push it down a little bit, that it's not biting in hand or anything, uh, holding it the opposite hand. I mean, you can kind of feel a little bit, but it's nothing like, you know, the Wii Thug clip that was absolutely atrocious, which, by the way, I think they fixed, so con uh, not congrats, but shout out to them for taking care of that. I love this Tanto, absolutely cool as hell let's see how she cuts with that 20 cv uh one thing you'll never catch me saying about we sabibi is that they don't do a good blade grind um they absolutely crush grinds this is a uh, flat grind right here and a flat grind up here it's actually a compound grind i guess but uh or a dual grind right because they're both flat now i would probably see a lot of issues if you're cutting something thick material wise getting caught in these slots i could see that happening but i think this is designed to be sort of tactical right i think that was kind of the idea when they they made this um i gotta say short of the detent which i think most of you out there would just flick it and be like okay you know i i know how to deploy it it'll flick right um, and surprisingly, some of their knives, they, this detent kind of like gets better over time. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, oh, look at that. It says prototype up on the top there. That's pretty cool. See that? Let me zoom in so you can see it. There you go. Prototype. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you guys could tell I'm a little bit, you know, uh, non-committal on this one but i like it i do i do like it um uh, i know i found a lot of negatives for something i like right that's just how i am guys i'm very nitpicky with knives like one thing i'm not liking is it looks like there's a gap right here see that and maybe they changed some of the stuff because if this is a prototype it's kind of weird that they would send us a prototype um but maybe they didn't make any changes i don't know but I would have definitely made more access to that hole. Um, I would have dialed the D10 up a little bit. I might have shored up this a little bit. It just feels a little, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's the best way to describe it. I love that pivot, pivot collar. Sorry. Ergo's fantastic. Really good in hand. This jipping is very minimal, but when you pull back on it, it does catch you a little bit, at least catching my callus a little bit. I love the grind. I love the way they finished the spine with that swedge. Look at that going all the way up. It's just sexy work. Uh, you can sort of choke up on the choil, but eh. I love the way they put the Wii right there. I love that. That's actually something uh, we're incorporating with Devo knives is putting our logo there. Because then you can keep the rest of the knife uh, sterile. I like that. I mean, they don't do that, but that's our plan anyway. Um... And this could just be because it's a prototype. Now, they did the bead blast that they do. It just seems lazy at this point, but 
I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. The action is already just better. Um, yeah, it's good. It's a cool knife. I actually really like it. So I'm uh, excited to check it out. Um, and I'll do a full review in a few days probably because it's a pass around knife. So I'm not allowed to disassemble it. I'm not really allowed to cut a bunch with it. Like I'm allowed to, you know, cut some stuff, but you know, you're not allowed to like mark it up or abuse it or not that I would, but you get what I'm saying. So it's really just carry it, cut a little bit and uh, play with it a little bit and then give my findings really right. Um, so that's what I'll do. This is the Wii Knives Arsenal. So shout out to Wii. Shout out to Seth over there. Thank you for... Shit, I almost threw it off the desert. I was trying to watch the uh, Wii Pivot spin. I don't know why I thought that'd be cool. Anyway, uh, shout out to Seth. Thank you, dude. Shout out to David, Blade Banter. Shout out to everybody in the Apex group. This will be moving on to the next guy uh, sooner rather than later. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this one for you? Uh, are you interested? I don't know. Let me know. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.